Hey guys, and welcome back to the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas. Over the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing quick, beginner-friendly patterns that are perfect for gifting or decorating your house during the holidays. Today, we're gonna learn how to crochet these spiral face scrubbies. If you're excited about the 12 Days of Crochet Christmas, be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on those notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. For today's tutorial, you will need one skein of Lion Brand's 24-7 cotton, a 5mm crochet hook, stitch markers, a tapestry needle, and a pair of scissors. Here's the original face scrubby that I made. While I love this very much, I did the same thing that I did with the washcloth and moved down to a 4.5mm hook and ended up with this. Now it looks pretty much the same, but the stitches are tighter with the 4.5, which is to be expected. And I just really like the way that the 4.5 millimeter hook looks. And again, there really isn't too much of a difference, but I just thought that I would throw that out there in case you'd want to try the 4.5 instead. To get started, we're going to create a magic circle. And if you've never created a magic circle before, I have a full step-by-step -step tutorial that I'll link in the description. Chain two, and we'll place eight half double crochet into this magic ring. So yarn over, insert your hook into the middle of the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through three. Now put seven more half double crochet into this ring. If you can't get the hang of the magic circle, you can chain three and place eight half double crochet into that first chain. Now pull your circle shut. And we are going to mark our very last stitch with our stitch marker. Now what we're going to do is work into the third loop from the half double crochet. So if you watch the washcloth tutorial before watching this one, then you'll know where that third loop is, but I'll go ahead and show you again. Here is the front of our stitches. When you turn them up, you see this V shape. The first loop is the front loop. This back loop is the back loop. And then you turn it this way to find the third loop, which is right here. So to half double, so we're going to half double crochet into that third loop. So insert your hook into that third loop there, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to half double crochet into that third loop from the same stitch again. Now we're going to place two half double crochet into the third loop of each stitch around. So again, here's our next stitch. When we turn it forward, we see that third loop there. So two half double crochet into that third loop. Now I'll do one more with you slowly. So here's our next stitch. Turn it forward and you'll see the, the third loop right behind it. Now continue this same pattern around until you reach your stitch marker. Okay, now I'm going to take out this stitch marker and place two half double crochet into the third loop of that last stitch. And you should have 16 half double crochet in round two. Now replace your stitch marker onto that last stitch. And we're going to place 
two half double crochet in the third loop of the next stitch. So here's our next stitch, we're turning it over and this is the third loop here. One half double crochet into the third loop of the next stitch. So here's our next stitch, turn it around and there's your third loop. Two half double crochet into the third loop of the next. And we're just going to be working into the third loop this entire pattern. One half double crochet into the next. Two half double crochet into the next. And just repeat that pattern around until you reach your stitch marker. Remove your stitch marker and you should be placing one half double crochet into that last stitch. For round three you should have 24 stitches. And now you can start to see this awesome texture that's starting to form. And if the circle in the middle starts to open up a little bit, all you have to do is pull that tail to shut it. Now replace your stitch marker into that last stitch. Place two half double crochet into the next stitch. And remember we're still working into the third loop only. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Two half double crochet into the next. And one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and just repeat that pattern around until you reach your stitch marker. At the end of round four, you should have 32 stitches. Now for round five, we're going to place two half double crochet into the next stitch and one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next and one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And we're just going to repeat that around until you reach your stitch marker. At the end of round five, you should have 40 stitches. Now for round six, you're just going to half double crochet into the third loop of each stitch around. So no more increasing, just one half double crochet in each stitch. At the end of round six, you're going to slip stitch into that next stitch under both loops as usual not the third loop. And then we're going to create a strap for the back. So you could stop here and use the face scrubbing just like this. But if you want to create a strap, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So go ahead and chain 10. Then grab the other side of your face scrubby and find the stitch that's about halfway across and slip stitch.
and there you have a strap right across the back. Now to make this strap more secure, we're going to single crochet in each chain across. So to do that, just insert your hook into that next chain. And it's a little finicky to handle, but you'll get it. And of course, if you want this strap to be tighter around your hand, you can just chain less. And if you'd like it to be more loose, you can chain more. Now slip stitch to that beginning stitch to join and tie off your work. And, and here's your little strap. So go ahead and weave in all of your ends and you're finished. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on how to crochet these spiral face scrubbies. Tag me on Instagram at Sigoni Macaroni or inside the Facebook group with all of your makes. And remember that over the next few days, I'm going to be sharing a quick beginner friendly giftable pattern for the 12 days of crochet Christmas. So be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single pattern. I'll see you in the next one.